In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Good morning, everyone. It's a joy to be with you here at St. Catherine of Siena Parish. Thank you, Father Dan and Father Nick, and welcome Father Adam and Deacon Will. Uh, this is a first for me uh, to bless bells. I've done a lot of things in my Episcopal ministry, but I've never had to bless bells yet. So we have five beautiful bells here that will sound soon in our bell towers here at our new church. And uh, what a great... Uh, uh, a call that they will make. Father Dan will be doing the honors of the homily today, so I don't want to steal anything from him, but uh, these bells are a wonderful tradition in our Christian faith, in our Catholic faith, to call us to prayer, uh, to call us out of our indifference, if you will, and our secular lives into the life of grace. And so uh, today is one step closer when your new church will be uh, completed and finished and and ready to go for the worship of, of God's people here in this parish. Dear brothers and sisters, today is a joyous and happy day for all of us as the new bells for St. Catherine of Siena are blessed, and we have the opportunity in this celebration to praise God's name. Bells have a special place in the life of God's people. The peal of bells marks the hours for prayer and calls us to the celebration of the liturgy. Bells alert us to important events, both happy and sad, in the life of the church and in the community. So let us acknowledge our sins now and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. 
O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, answer, answer me. me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own are and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, answer, answer me. me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death, and thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gra gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be in your mind, on your lips you might proclaim his gospel worthily and well in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good morning, Bishop. Welcome to St. Catherine. 
Uh, we return to uh, ordinary time. You can see uh, uh, the priest, uh, the deacon, uh, wearing uh, green uh, vestments. Uh, the last time we wore green was, was February 27th. We made it through the purple of Lent. We made it through the red of, of uh, Palm Sunday and Good Friday, uh, Pentecost. Uh, we made it through the white, uh, the white of Easter and its season. We made it through uh, uh, Trinity Sunday and Corpus Christi and Ascension. And now we return to, to ordinary time. The color is green, uh, which is a symbol of growth and, and a symbol of hope. Uh, this is a, a busy day for us. Uh, first, we have a Father's Day. So to all of our fathers, uh, we're not all fathers, but we all have fathers. So whether they are here with you or live in another place, whether they're living or deceased, we honor them today. We ask God's abundant blessing upon all of our fathers. Uh, secondly, we have First Holy Communion. Uh, you see the uh, kneelers here. Uh, the children have been waiting for a long time. Uh, they were supposed to receive in April, uh, but they had to wait through May and June. Uh, we thought maybe we'd have to wait till the fall, and the parents were worried that their outfits wouldn't fit anymore, uh, their little suits and their little dresses. But we're able to celebrate uh, with these uh, 85 children who today at 2 o'clock and, and 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock will receive a Holy Communion. It gives us all a chance to give thanks to God for the gift of Holy Communion. It, it means more to us. It should mean more to us this year than any other year because we were deprived of it for so long. We were not able to receive Holy Communion, but now we are. Now we're, we're able to receive again, and we give thanks to God for that. As these, these children, I give thanks to God for the ability to receive a Holy Communion, their first Holy Communion uh, today. So we have Father's Day, we have First Holy Communion, finally, uh, the blessing of bells. You can see that the towers are done. After a long time, a long uh, time of, of building, uh, the towers are done, the bells are here. They call this ordinary time, uh, and the color of uh, growth and hope. But I don't know about you, but this, this doesn't feel like an ordinary time. It feels like an extraordinary time, something that none of us have ever experienced. Um, uh, around the world with the coronavirus approaching now 10 million infections, 500,000 people dying. Uh, in our own nation, there's, there's racial discord, people marching and fires burning. It doesn't feel like an ordinary time. If ever there was a time where we needed hope, this is it. And that's what we pray for during this time, this, this extraordinary time in the history of our, of our world. We, we pray for the virtue of hope, and that's what it is, a theological virtue, which means it belongs properly to God himself. Uh, those theological virtues of faith, hope, and, and love. We pray for faith, we pray for love, but not often enough do we pray for that, that virtue of hope, to, to hope that we can, we can grow during this time and we can be better and we can, we can the, uh, uh, be get through this, this, this time of illness. We pray for, for all those who work in healthcare, those who are working to, uh, to make us well and to keep us well. Uh, get to, uh, through this time of, of, of racial discord. Uh, we, are, we, 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 are, we pray for, for hope. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas said that, that hope, uh, hope is a virtue because it's a theological virtue. It means that, that it is infused into our souls by God alone. By God alone. Uh, and w which means we have to pray for it. We have to pray for that. Uh, to pray, and, and, and if we do that, then, then maybe, maybe these towers, uh, maybe we can be part of the solution uh, to these uh, challenges that we face. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're bell towers, uh, uh, which, which have as a purpose to call people to prayer. Uh, when we, we wanted to build a church that was clearly a church, when people drive by on Ridge Road, nobody says, well, there, maybe that's a new grocery store, or, or maybe, a, maybe, uh, maybe a new restaurant. I mean, everyone, everyone who drives past there knows that this is a church, and the hope is that they would pray. Maybe, maybe if we spent more time lifting our eyes to heaven and, and folding our hands in prayer, 
then we can, then we, we can, we can grow and, and even uh, prosper during this, 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 this very extraordinary time. Uh, the bell towers, not spires, not steeples, but bell towers. And, and the function of the bell is, is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is only one. There's only one function, and that is to call people to prayer. Um, uh, to pray, asking uh, a God uh, to, to help us and to be with us. Uh, the bells are named. A bishop will, will bless the bells and give them names. Um, the, uh, the biggest bell is, is Michael. Um, the, the, the donors have a great love for, a great devotion to, to uh, St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. And there is a battle. There's a spiritual battle. A deacon read for us today from, from Matthew's Gospel. Jesus says, don't be afraid of life with its challenges, but rather be afraid of death and the possibility of losing heaven, eternal life. That's what we should be afraid of, not life. Don't be afraid of life. Even with its challenges, Michael, Michael will ring out. He's the biggest. He's 2,000 pounds. He's twice as big as anybody else, any of the other bells. Michael is in the North Tower. Michael represents God. Prayer, prayer is conversation, not just God speaking and us listening, or we speaking and God listening, but it's conversation. God speaks, we respond. We speak, God responds. Um, this, this represents God. Michael the archangel, defend us in battle. Uh, the second bell is Mary. Uh, the donors have a great love for Mary. Just like we do, we all do. We're St. Catherine of Siena. We're a Dominican parish. Dominicans love Mary. Dominicans gave us the rosary. Every single day since we began this project, we have prayed the memorare. Never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection or implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Uh, this represents God. The four represent us, Mary. Uh, she's a thousand pounds. They're made out of, of uh, bronze. 80% copper, 20% tin. That's why they shine like a penny. Uh, uh, there's, there's Michael. Michael's 2,000. Mary is 1,000. And then Clara, she's 500. 500 pounds. Uh, the donors have a, a daughter um, or a, a, a granddaughter. Their first granddaughter was, was stillborn. And they never got to hear her voice. So they named the bell Clara, believing that when the bell rings, they'll hear her voice for the first time. And it's, it's not just for Clara, but for all the voices unheard, all the voices of those uh, babies that we lose by, by stillbirth or miscarriage or abortion. Every time, every time Clara rings, we'll hear the voices of, of those unheard uh, children. Uh, the fourth bell is Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan is, uh, in, is given in memory of a, of a young man, 13 years old, who died of cancer. For, for all the sick, and we all know people who are sick, every time Jonathan rings, we be, we're mindful of the sick and to pray for their health as we pray for, for Jonathan. And finally, Lucy. Lucy is the baby. Lucy is 150 pounds. Jonathan's 250. Lucy is 150 pounds. Uh, St. Lucy is the patron saint of the blind. And Don and Connie, they have a granddaughter, an awesome granddaughter named Darby, who is blind. And, and they, they named the bell uh, uh, Lucy. So every time we hear Lucy, uh, Darcy is going to be the godmother uh, to this bell uh, as it is uh, named, as it is uh, uh, blessed today. Uh, one purpose. Those bell towers have one purpose, to call people to prayer, to lift our eyes to heaven, to fold our hands, um, asking the Lord to strengthen us through this extraordinary time. Uh, we'll wear these green vestments from now until October the 4th, every Sunday, next week, the week after that, week after that, week after that, month after that, month after that. We wear green every single Sunday, the, growth of, uh, the, the color of growth and hope. The next time we won't wear green vestments is when Bishop comes on October the 4th to consecrate this new church. He'll take off the green vestments and wear white, uh, the color of, of celebration. For a thousand years, for a thousand years, uh, and may, all, may, um, um, may all who come to, uh, to this church and gather under these towers uh, find hope in, in God, our strength. Um, 
a bishop will consecrate the church given uh, for the glory of God and for the sanctification of the people, all the people who gather under uh, these towers. Uh, guide us through this time, O oh Lord. Guide us through. Let these bells sing um, from us to God, helping us uh, always and forever. For this we pray. Amen. Please stand now. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. Thus men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one. Please kneel now for this blessing of bells. Okay, go first. To God, our Father, whose will it is to form one church out of many peoples, let us offer our prayers with one heart. For the Holy Father, May he continue to grow in holiness and wisdom in his service to the living and true God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders and those in authority, may the Lord provide his grace for the peaceful resolution of conflicts in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people throughout the world who are persecuted for their faith, may God's love give them courage as they stand for Christ in the darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community and visitors who have joined us, that sharing in the Eucharist, we may grow in unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that as the gracious gift of Jesus Christ overflows, they may taste the sweetness of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, from the beginning of time, your voice has called us, inviting us to communion with you, teaching us the mysteries of your life, guiding us on the way to salvation. With silver trumpets, Moses summoned Israel to gather as your people. Now you are pleased that in your church the sound of bells should summon your people at prayer. By this blessing, accept this bell, Lucy, in your service. May her voice direct our hearts toward you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ, to listen to your word, to offer you our prayers, and both in joy and in sorrow to be friends to one another. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
By this blessing, accept this bell, Jonathan, in your service. May his voice direct our hearts toward you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ, to listen to your word, to offer you our prayers, and both in joy and in sorrow to be friends to one another. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. By this blessing, accept this bell, Clara, in your service. May her voice direct our hearts toward you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ, to listen to your word, to offer you our prayers, and both in joy and in sorrow to be friends to one another. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. By this blessing, accept this bell, Mary, in your service. May her voice direct our hearts toward you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ, to listen to your word, to offer you our prayers, and both in joy and in sorrow, to be friends to one another. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. By this blessing, accept this bell, Michael, in your service. May his voice direct our hearts toward you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ, to listen to your word, to offer you our prayers, and both in joy and in sorrow to be friends to one another. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we thank our bishop for coming here today to bless our bell. We really, we really are very grateful to you, Bishop, uh, for being here. He was supposed to be here again on May 3rd, but he was able to, to uh, make time for us today. So we're very grateful, and we, we look forward to October 4th, uh, less than four months from now, when you will uh, be back here to consecrate this church uh, dressed in white uh, yeah. for the uh, prayer of consecration. Uh, congratulations to all our parents and godparents of these bells. Uh, given in service to the church, not your children anymore, but given in service, given in service uh, to the church. May all who hear these bells uh, be brought to, uh, brought to prayer, uh, to pray, uh, asking God's protection and continual blessing. So thanks to all of you for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Father Dan. I'm looking very much forward to October 4th. It'll be here before we know it. And uh, if I don't get here before then, I will look forward to hearing the bells sound that day for sure okay and uh, i would like to echo father's words happy father's day to all the men in our parish here who are fathers or grandfathers godfathers spiritual fathers like our priests we need you we need your strong faith we need your leadership in our families and in our diocese uh, we need your protection over our families and your constant and faithful love uh, for your spouse for your children so wonderful day for you enjoy it and, and know how much we are so grateful for you and how much we pray for you and thank you for your service. Let's hey, offer our dads a happy Father's Day. I invite you to come forward to, to uh, view the bells. Uh, look now or forever hold your peace. Um, they're going up at uh, 12 stories, so if you'd like to look. Also, the lobby of the new church is done. If you'd like to go over and have a look, see all the progress we've made since the last time you were in there, uh, do so after Mass today. Thank you. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please wait.